Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the People's Democratic Party Governors Forum will meet today, June 14, 2021, in Uyo, Akwaibom State, to discuss the deteriorating state of the Nigerian economy, the alarming stretch of Nigeria's social fabric to a breaking point, and the emerging threats to democracy, rule of law, and constitutionalism in Nigeria. This was disclosed in a press statement released on Sunday by the Director General of the PDP Governors Forum, CID Madwabum. He said the governors will also further discuss how to continue with good governance measures in their respective states. At number four, operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency have arrested an Uber driver, Lawal Tunde Rashid, and two other drug traffickers at the Mutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos State, with different quantities of cocaine. Rashid was arrested on Tuesday, June 8th, when he bought a consignment from his client to a freight forwarder for export to Malabo in Equatorial Guinea. When the package was searched, 150 grams of cocaine concealed inside two pieces of air freshener were discovered. On Friday, June 11th, one Udogu James Johnson, who was returning from Brazil, was arrested at the D arrival hall with nine wraps of cocaine that weighed 300 grams concealed in his pants. At number three, President Muhammad Buhari has said his administration cannot afford the funds needed to revive the country's educational system. Buhari said the shortage of funds was due to the recent increase in the number of tertiary institutions in Nigeria. The president stated this at the 49th convocation ceremony of the University of Nigeria in Suka, Enugu State, on Saturday. Buhari, who was represented by the Minister of State for Education, Emeka Nwajuba, said the financial situation had been worsened by the downturn in the global economy, which has greatly affected national revenue, but that the government was optimistic that the ongoing drive to diversify the national economy will provide additional resources to improve funding for the education sector. At number two, the police command in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, has said it arrested kidnappers terrorizing the country's capital and recovered 1.3 million naira ransom from them. This was revealed by the spokesperson for the FCT Police Command, Mariam Yusuf, in a statement released on Sunday. Yusuf said the money was paid as ransom to the suspected kidnappers and that three mobile phones, charms, three wristwatches and two caps were recovered from them. She further revealed that the suspects confessed to being part of a notorious syndicate of kidnappers involved in the recent abductions along Bari and Kuje Kwali axes, including Niger State. At number one, the Nigerian army has called on Boko Haram and ISWAP terrorists to seek forgiveness and reconciliation, saying soldiers and Nigerians generally are not happy that people are dying. The general officer commanding 7th Division Nigerian Army, Brigadier General A.A.A. Tayo, made the call on Sunday at a feast organized for journalists by the army in Medugri, Bono State. A. Tayo said by seeking forgiveness and reconciliation, the insurgents will be availed the opportunity to enjoy rehabilitation and acquire skills to enable them live a useful life in the society. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.